What's up everybody? It's finally doing my gameplay analysis video like I promised a week ago or a week and a half ago now. Sorry it's so late, but better late than never, right? Uh, I'm going to be analysing a gameplay between uh, our team T1 versus XL5 in the finals of the last uh, Qualifier Cup. So this will be Rig Slayer and it's definitely one of our stronger game types, which is the reason I've chosen to analyse it and just sort of try and shed some light on how we play it and how we think the map should be played. I'll get started. Where am I? So start off strat is start off strat, you know, um, do what you think works best. We try to do what works best in 90% of situations. There we go. Alright, so one crucial part of the rig is you want to make sure that if you're holding, I mean, if you're holding either side of the map, rail 2 is super, super important. So right now we're spawning the R side of the map. I know the other guys are around nest side. My priority is to come up here and secure rail 2. So I'm not going to charge straight in that doorway because it's if they are hiding in there already and they may very well be um, it's an easy kill for them so I walk up this little ledge here just to have a quick peek over in case that scattershot guy that killed me earlier is there and then I spot him out over there so all I'm going to do now is just play passive in this p situation uh, get shots on people and try to stay alive while my teammates clean up the kills so you know um, now I know I've secured rail 2 just waiting for call outs really, waiting for one of them to poke out and make a mistake. So, you know, now I can call out one shots in sniper. Hall. I've called out this guy as uh, rail one underneath me and he actually makes a pretty smart play in backing off there because it's a, a pretty easy kill for us to get. So that whole time, Bald was underneath us as well, crouching around, so we didn't know that. But he gets taken out pretty easily because he has no help. Um, so yeah, just there, Momentum tries to push Rail 2 again. Uh, I get a couple shots on him, and I'm not going to chase him, obviously. He's got a scatter shot. He will beat me in that fight, 9 times out of 10. So I just put a couple shots on him, call him out. I know he's trapped in Rail 1, and before you know it, one of my teammates has come and cleaned him up. Now we've got the power weapon, so we've got Sniper and scatter shot. Not sure about Plasma Caster. Uh, but we don't have total control of bunker side, so something that we do is we're not going to try and fight you head on. So if you've pushed around nest side and we've lost control of that side, we're not going to keep trying to push you. We're going to rotate around and let you come to us, sort of, until we get the numbers advantage and then we'll push you back. So Colt's backed off to bunker while I'm still rail 2. He's got the sniper, so we're trying to work together here. And uh, now we've got a pinch happening on them where Dan is helping Colt in the background finish off the last guy. So something else is I have called Adam to come and hold rail 2 off spawn because I've got a scatter shot. Um, something you want to try and do is use the power weapons as well as you can. So yes, you can use a scatter shot in rail 2, but we feel the best way and place to use it is to have it around snipe hall um, and you're certainly going to get a lot more kills that way and it shuts off a big angle for them and sort of traps them car one side and forces them to push ne push nest side so i call adam uh, fallen to get rail two because i've got the scatter shot and i want to use it uh, he calls out he's getting pushed so obviously i can immediately come back and help him So now we have no one rail two, so that's why I'm sort of still watching the same angle. And now, and now I've called Adam to come back up. Sucks I didn't get that kill. I mean, should have been an easy one, but oh well. So yeah, momentum tries to push Fallen at uh, rail two, and it's an easy clean up with Colt helping him in the background. Now here I do make a mistake. Uh, 
Plasma Cast has just come up, and I've got a call from Seduce th that they're making a play for Caster. So I took that as they're just pushing Caster. So my, the play I was trying to pull off here is I know they're pushing open floor and catwalk. I'm going to flank them and pick up some easy kills. Little did I know, only one guy pushed and they had two guys waiting for me. So unfortunately, I lose scattershot here. Once again, I've spawned. I know we don't have anyone round two. My priority is to get to round two. I know camo's just come up too, and the rest of the guys have been fighting over that. Now, I'm actually watching the scoreboard at this point in game. So I'm holding back, waiting for them to respawn. You know, I know we're not collapsing on carbine, and if I move off this bunker spawn too early, they're going to get a split spawn on us. Or it's a high chance of that happening anyway. So I wait there and make sure that. They're not going to spawn there. Once again, we've got somebody anchoring rail 2. Um, and now he's working with Fallen. Seduce and Fallen are working together to do a small push around Barrow side. Um, they're calling out a few guys they got weak, so it's an easy clean up for me here. And at this point now, because we've got so many of us pushed up, we make the decision to actually collapse on them. So... No, no man stays behind. So Colts heard the call that we're going to get that we're going to collapse. If he waits behind there, that first guy we killed is going to spawn bunker, and then we're going to get pinched. So what we're doing is we're making sure the entire team is fully collapsing on them, clearing all four players out, and forcing them all to spawn bunker. So the game stays a bit more structured and controlled for us. Colt gets a nice pick there. I mean, we really have no reason to push them right now, so we're just going to sit here and, and wait for them to make more mistakes and hopefully we'll clean up a few kills. And we know that they're pushing us barrel side, so that's why we're playing a bit more passive around nest side. Um, one of the pokes out, we get an easy kill again. And now this is when we can make our push, because we've got, we've got two, two people down. And once again, we call for a total collapse. So now we know the players we've just killed should be spawning carbine, or they actually spawn barrels, but they really can't help these last two guys, so we know it's going to be a pretty easy cleanup. Once again, first order of business, get rail 2. I call out that I've got the scatter shot again, and Fallen is the player that's going to hold rail 2. Now we know there's a few barrels here. Um, Fallen's just making sure that I can't push rail 2 and I'm making sure they can't kill me in here. He just picks up a nice kill there. Momentum tries to push rail 1 again and uh, gets cleaned up by Fallen. We know Hammer's coming out. We didn't actually have an exact time on this so this is not as smooth as it should be. Now I dropped down thinking it was going to be up straight away. Fallen actually has to shoot this down twice for me before it spawns. Now, see, so X5 did a pretty good play there in the fact that they knew camo was coming up, so that's the best time for them to push as we're going to be out of position trying to um, secure the camo. Um, we probably get a few unnecessary deaths here, um, but we've just basically made the call to let me make a play so everyone's going to basically sit back and let me get a pick. Now, I didn't want to kill Zirkle there because it would almost be a pointless kill and give away my position. And what, what I want to do is clear out Rail Tower because Rail, Rail Tower is really the, the strength of holding Bunker side and the strength of Carbine side as well. So if I can make a play to clear out Rail side, we can do an easy push on them. So... The guys already did a good enough job clearing it out themselves, but... Just back straight off, and I want to chase that kill. Just bait circle out to my teammates. And we pick up two more easy kills. Once again, in this position using the scatter shot, it's probably the best spot you can use it. And now, I'm trying to apply pressure to nest side. 
one thing that we also do on this is we really don't want to let the enemy team get around to nest because you know the less room you have the more pressure they can put on you so we really do try and apply a lot of pressure from nest bridge and mid cat um, out to carbine spawns and if they do want to push open floor when we've got two guys there well I mean that's going to be a pretty easy kill um, but yeah basically if you do let them get around to nest I mean they can pressure you quite hard because it's pretty easy for them to push into white corner and white hall then um, so we've got pretty good control of them now Hayden snuck over there but I think we deal with him Once again, just making a play here. I actually call for um, Adam to back off here because he's putting pressure on them, not letting them push me, and I want to I want to make sure they do push me so I can get a kill. So Adam's called. No one's rail two. No one's watching that angle. So I immediately leave my position because I know how important it is that we need someone at rail two because things like this are going to happen where momentum is snuck around behind us now if I didn't come back to get this position he would be able to get an easy flank on us and, and basically set up a collapse to the rest of his team Weapon pad in 10 seconds. Once again just trying to get some picks in this hallway Weapon which is usually a pretty easy place to do it see now this is something we did wrong here we had all four of us sort of pushed up on the midline we didn't choose to collapse and we also didn't block bunker spawn so this is what I was talking about earlier now momentum is spawned behind us and this could easily set up a push for his team now two of them are spawned there so we've got two people on either side of us and we're a player down so it's not a great situation to be in and you can see I'm a little bit confused as to where to run here I'll pick up, I pick up the snipe and I try to run carbine I see a player's there and then I decide to come back to my team because now they're spawning bunker so I've got my team spawning bunker, so this is the really the safest route for me to run. And fortunately we clear clear them out pretty quickly. So we took a death or two, but we have cleared them out. And once again, yeah, momentum pushing, trying to push rail two, but we keep forcing him down to rail one and Fallen gets a nice trade there. Um, so yeah, right now we're just making sure we're blocking bunker spawns. The only reason I grenaded that was grenades do block spawns for the most part. So I saw Colt wasn't quite in position to block the spawn, so I was just making sure by throwing a grenade there. I'm not 100% sure why Fallen spawn, spawned barrels here. Um, but we knew there was no one bunker, so... Uh, the reason I also pushed up barrels is then is because I knew I had a player ahead of me, so I have a bit more room to move. I can apply a little bit more pressure, so I'm able to jump down to um, two barrels there and, and get an easy snipe kill. Now, Colt called out there's somebody pushing him from Nest. But I see that we've got Camo now and Seduce is going to help him out and I can just watch my angle. Five I'm just going to back off here because I'm weak and I don't want to have to fight them head on here. Now, uh, see, a mistake I've made right now is I haven't been watching the barrels angle for for probably 10, 15 seconds now, and I decide to push through this doorway, and what do you know, momentum's there with the scatter shot, which is what he's been trying to do all game, so I should have expected it. Fortunately, I get a no-scope on him and get him weak, and my teammates clean him up pretty easy. But you can see how important it is to our team to secure round two. As soon as somebody broke through, we had three players instantly push him to collapse. So, you know, we're actually not in a great spot at this point because we're split up across the map, but I just get to the quickest spot I can to help Fallen. He's got a few people on him at round two. And yeah, just get a nice easy last kill. Obviously 50 to 20 is quite a good score. Um, like I said, it's one of our better game types. Uh, basically just play slow and controlled and when we decide to collapse on something, all four of us collapse um, and just make sure you're very aware of the spawns. Alright guys, that's my gameplay analysis. 
Uh, if you have any feedback for me, it's my first one, just let me know um, anything more you would like me to put in it. I, I didn't include any of the communication um, side of things really, but I can do that next time if you'd like. If there's any game types you want to see in the future, let me know. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash ads underscore halo. Thank you for watching, guys. Love you all. I'll see you next time.